Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Off Season with Melissa. Hi guys, so I decided to post this video. It's about a week and a half due, overdue, but about a week and a half ago I received some video because we're going through this coronavirus scare and so the video was saying that there may be a possible lockdown in the town and so you have to stack up and you know prepare yourself for a lockdown so as an event planner of course i'm a work at home person so i just began to look around and i noticed that i really am not prepared for a lockdown where you may not be able to get certain things so of course my first idea of getting certain things was food and I didn't want to get a lot of food that I had to store in the freezer or refrigerator because of course the, the fridge may they the, the date on them may become due before the actual lockdown so I didn't want to stack up my refrigerator but a nice idea I did uh, I don't know if you've watched the video about me organizing my craft room and my decorations room but I purchased these two I'm gonna show you here I purchased these um, bins. I don't know if you can see them. They look like wheelbarrow. They look like uh, whiskey barrels. But the great thing about them is you can store things in them. And so, whenever I'm buying things, I always try to use them for multiple purposes. And for this instance, I was able to buy these and they are they can serve as storage as well so since i reorganized my crafting room and my decorations room and made it a brand new storage room for all of my extra stuff i had that space inside of the whiskey barrels and so i went to the store and i needed a place to store it because of course what's the use in going to the store stacking up for a lockdown and then eating it before the lockdown happens so I figure out of sight out of mind and that's what I'll do and later I'll post um, a few of the uh, items that you know some people some households feel are necessary items to have of course everyone went berserk getting Lysol Clorox toilet tissue all of that uh, I already had that because I subscribe to Grove, and if you're not a subscriber for Grove, then it's just an um, interesting way to get your cleaning products for your kitchen and bathroom and just overall cleaning products. So I received those on a regular basis, so I didn't have to run out and get the paper towels and toilet tissue and the Clorox and the Lysol and all that because I get that, so I get that anyway. But I did stock up on some food items. So I just wanted to share with you that tip to, you know, use your items. If you are an event planner or you're a person who likes to decorate your home with different types of decor throughout the year, pur pur purchase things that you can use as storage. And that's not necessarily a new tip, but it's an ingenious tip when things like this happen and you really need to prepare for something that you know we did not see coming six months ago so that's what I did I took the um, items that I purchased and I just stuffed the whole bags in there some items I did have to um, <coughs> excuse me some items I did have to get that belong in the freezer and that's okay because of course things tend to last longer in the freezer anyway so I did get a few items because I personally me personally can live off of ice cream and pizza for two weeks I think I can do that breakfast lunch dinner snack ice cream pizza and popcorn can't forget popcorn but that's just my uh, off-season tip number two 
that I want to share with you because that is um, that is an ingenious way to hide your food for your from yourself, so you won't have to keep going back to the grocery store restocking it. And don't forget to check the expiration dates on certain things before you purchase them, because you want to give yourself at, at least the longest expiration dates. And, and thinking of the expiration dates, I want to share something with you right quick. So, of course, all of my events that I had planned, um, been scheduled for and hired out for, were canceled. But I had purchased these um, these little uh, spikling, sparkling, sparkling cider little drinks. And I wondered, I was like, well, what can I do? And, but it, they're going to be giving away as favors at her event. But anyway, that won't happen. But I was like, oh, now I have all of these sparkling cider drinks that's been already prepared to give away to guests when do they expire do you know that these bad boys don't expire until i don't know if you can see that but march 5th of 2022 so this is march 2020 i can hang on to them for two years if i need to and they won't spoil so that's the key finding things that won't spoil within the next day or so get things with longer shelf life on them so that's just my tip i hope you're enjoying your day thank you for joining me with off season and please remember to subscribe like share comment ask questions i'm here for you